Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up an electrolytic cell, and I have a piece of copper right here, and this is a piece of nickel. Okay, so I'm gonna use these as the metal pieces in the electrolytic cell. All right, so we can see right now what they look like before. So we write down our observations that we have a shiny, you know, um, copper colored um, piece of copper, and then this silver, you know, piece of nickel. All right, so I'm measuring the mass of the unplated copper before the experiment. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but the mass is 6.937 grams. So you're gonna to wanna to write that as the mass of the unplated copper. Okay, so 6.937 grams of that unplated copper. And I soaked it in, dry, soaked it in HCl and dried it off. All right, so I'm setting up my electrolytic cell here. So I have a power supply, I haven't turned it on yet. And then I have this green solution. So the green is the actually the nickel two plus are making the solution green. So this is the important ion that's in this electrolytic solution, nickel two plus. Okay, so here's my piece of nickel. Here's my piece of copper. I don't want them touching each other. So I kind of bent them over the side of the beaker. And then I attach this red lead, which goes all the way over here, the positive side of our electrolytic cell. And then the black lead is the negative. So our electrons are coming out and they're going into the copper. So we have electrons going into copper. What is that gonna attract? That is going to attract our nickel two plus in this solution. So we're gonna see what happens. So I need to turn this power supply on. So I wanna turn the, and I also wanna start the timer because I wanna know how long I'm doing this for. So I'm gonna have my um, timer stopwatch ready. I'm gonna turn on the power supply. There's a coarse voltage knob. Um, we're gonna turn it all the way to the right and then we're gonna quickly adjust the fine, um, the current knob. Um, let's see the current. Oh yeah, that one's good. This is the current one between 0.4 and 0.5 amps. And we're gonna run it for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put this on, quickly adjust this to about 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna start my stopwatch and then we'll check back in about 10 minutes and see what happens. So still at 0.45 amps and I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. So I'm going to try to Turn it off, stop. So 10, oops, you can't really see it. Uh-oh, 10, it was 10 minutes and 36 seconds. Okay, it, I, I looked at it, I don't know why. The value kind of, there it goes, 10, 36. Okay, so 10 minutes, 36 seconds. So that's how long I ran the cell for. All right, so I stopped it now and I'm gonna pull off. <gasps> Ooh, do we remember what this looked like before? It was all copper. Now look, now we have a nice coating of nickel metal on there, right? The electrons were going in, forcing the electrons into the copper, and then the nickel two plus from the solution joined with those um, electrons to make nickel, Electropl we electroplated this. This one shouldn't look much different, okay? Um, I could have measured the mass, the lab doesn't call for it, but if I measured the mass of this before and after, it lost some mass. The nickel is the anode, so it's being oxidized. The nickel solid is going to nickel two plus and two electrons, so that's why it loses mass. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry this off, clean it up, and then we're gonna measure the mass and record the mass after the plating. So our observation is we have a nice silver plating on our copper. Okay, so I went ahead, I'm measuring the mass now of that copper metal. It was the same one I, I measured the mass of before, but now this is after, right? After electroplating with the nickel plated on, so our mass should have went up. It did 7.018 grams. So go ahead and write that in your data table.